Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today we're gonna to be reviewing the new Maybelline Vivid Bright Liquid Lacquer lip glosses. I guess that's what you should call them, but they really do have that lacquer appearance. Now, if you're brand spanking new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you want to because I do beauty product reviews, tutorials, hauls, all that good stuff, and I upload three times a week. So let me go ahead and bring you guys just a little bit closer so you can get a good look at the products and we'll go ahead and swatch some of these and talk about how they perform. So I recently received these 10 styles here and it was interesting. I went to a launch party that they had down in LA because I was visiting my family and I got an invite so I was like sure why not and that way I can just review them for you guys for those of you that are interested in purchasing these and that way you have a good idea of how they perform before you spend your money. So so let's talk about the first one that I'm wearing right now. This one is called Slay It. Now when you take off the little tip, it's got a doe foot applicator but it's also slanted and that way you're able to line your lips and that way it's not messy or anything. Now when you actually apply it to your lips, it applies initially kind of runny. It's not going to drip on your, you know, chin or anything like that but it does apply a little bit runny and if you have a little bit more pigmented lips like me you might need to apply a second coat or go over it with the doe foot applicator now I will say that after you've already you know applied it it does dry down and it's not a matte lipstick at all like let's be very clear it's definitely a lacquer lip gloss but it's a tiny bit stickier so that it sticks to your lips and not like nasty sticky at all it's so hard to describe but it stays on your lips and as proof I did actually eat a corn dog and this stuff did not mess up it did not smear at all so it does stay on but it doesn't stay runny looking or have that runny consistency throughout the day it's just as soon as you apply it and then you can kind of feel that it's adhering to your lips all right so this shade that I'm wearing right here in this little tube is called major now honestly I'm really not the type of person to rock this type of shade I think because I have really big lips it looks like nice and voluptuous and of course you can actually see the true color of the lip gloss now I'm gonna say when I did apply this initially um, you know it was kind of hard for me as I was lining my lips to get that poppin vibrant pigmented color right where you know my lips are lined so I do suggest if you have a color similar to this to just line your lips with it so that way you know you get that pigment um, so that's the only thing I really have to say it is very pigmented when I took off the first color and added this one it totally covered my lips that definitely had that pink stain left from the first color but I do like it for those times that you definitely want to be bold if you are that type of person you can rock this look and um, I love this the packaging like real quick I want to talk about this it's really nice really chic and the applicator is really nice to apply as well so let me know as I'm going through each color which colors that you guys would actually wear and um, if you do have these already what do you think about these glosses and which colors do you have so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the next shade and we can talk about that one so this shade here is called charming now of course you guys it looks crazy on me right now um, this is it right here normally what I would do is I would line this with a darker like Mac chestnut kind of liner but I want to stay true to color obviously for those of you guys that mix lip combos you know what the deal is but here is is what the shade looks like like not even playing around with it not even trying to make it work now those of you guys that are lighter than my complexion it probably is going to look gorgeous on you and those of you guys that are my shade of brown or darker you're going to need to mix it all in all I mean I know I look crazy right now. I think it's a beautiful shade if you use it right. If you don't use it right, then you might look a little bit like a crackhead. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm willing to make myself look a little bit crazy so that for you guys that are going to the drugstore and buying this, you're like, okay, 
you know, if I'm gonna buy that shade, this is what I need to do. Now, this shade here is called Retro. For some reason, it actually turns up as more of a red, but honestly, you guys, in person, it's definitely a chocolatey, like, deep chocolate color. And for me, this is definitely a color that's in my own comfort zones. I don't know why, but I guess, you know, being that I have big lips, like, I love wearing nudes and either classic reds or browns. And so any other color is just like, Ugh, it makes me a little bit nervous um, but this one I just really love I can see myself wearing it on you know on frequent basis at least if you don't like a lip gloss at all then this probably isn't for you but I kind of like lip glosses and I like it because sometimes you know my lips are dry I just have those big lips and they are dry so sometimes matte lipsticks are not the best for me and I really just like they just look like GC you know what I mean but this actual shade is very very beautiful if you are a chocolatey brown or even a tan person this is gonna look beautiful on you so this one here is called too cute honestly I'm not a big fan of it I mean of course you would combine it with a darker brown to match but Honestly, soft pink is not really my kind of color, and I don't really like the formula of this one. It definitely needs a type of liner to go under it because if you have pigmented lips, like you can see gaps and it kind of clings to any dry spots on your lips. So if you have lips that are just a little bit dry, it's not gonna look cute. Um, yeah, not a big fan of this one at all, at all. <laughs> this shade here is called Unreal. Now, it's still a little bit too light for my liking, but you guys can definitely put some brown liner, like I've told you guys before. And this is what it looks like in the tube. It is definitely like a true nude for more brown girls. Um, I also think this would look good on somebody who has fair skin too because it's nude but it's a little bit darker pinky of a nude as well. Um, this one is not as transparent as some of the other lighter ones were so I think it'd be fine to wear it alone but to be sure you know if you're going to be eating a lot and going throughout the day and not having time to touch this up it's always best to just add a lip liner underneath. Now this shade right here I'm not even going to put on my lips guys because it is like almost white and I'm gonna look like a crack addict <laughs> but this one here is called tease definitely really good for those of you guys that are more fair but if you're brown like me I mean the only way you can do this is if you just pretty much dot it on a mostly brown liner on your lips um, that's the only way I can see this working, but it is a really, really pretty color. It's just not for me. And this color here is called Classic. I mean, this is definitely a classic Hollywood red. It's got that red, orangey vibe to it. It's very bright, so you gotta be bold to put this one on, but I love it. Definitely something that I would wear, you know, for a night out or something, and it would last. Like I said earlier, I've eaten corn dogs <laughs> with, uh, you know, one of these lipsticks on, and it still looks so, so nice. So it's not the kind of lipstick that you're gonna get, like, all over your face, you know? But I'm definitely feeling this color, and let me know, you guys, like, what do you think of this one? It's definitely bold, but, um, I'm feeling it. So this color is called Obsessed. It definitely gives me like 80s neon vibes. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. Like look, this is it in the little container here. And I love it. I mean, it's something that's a little bit brighter than what I'm used to. I'll definitely wear a berry colored lipsticks, but this is like berry and hot pink mixed together. Um, so yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna rock this. But like I said with classic, definitely something that I would put on for a night out, not during the daytime, but if you guys wanna do that, that's all good with me, like do you, boo. Um, but it's beautiful. This shade here is called Royal. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone, um, but you know what? It's really, really beautiful. I did have to take some time with this one and build it up on my lips, um, probably because I'd already had a lot of pink on it stained from the previous color. What I'm finding is that a lot of these more pigmented, brighter lip glosses definitely stain the lips a little bit, but unless you're somebody who's trying on 10 in a row like me, I really don't think that matters. 
this. And you know what? I actually really like the collection, you guys. There are definitely some colors that are out of my comfort zone, but for those of you guys who really, really love color and want a really good lip gloss formula that's going to stay on the lips, it's going to be super, super nice for you. Now, the only thing is some of the lighter colors, you definitely need to build them up um, or use a lip liner underneath, which is kind of, you know, understandable. I mean, I'm going to give Maybelline a break on that one, but I think a lot of these colors can work for brown girls as well, so that's really, really exciting. I believe these do retail for $7.50 around that price. Of course, it's going to vary depending on where you go, but it is in the drugstore, so you guys can like go ham with all of these. Let me know which colors were your favorite colors out of all 10 that I swatched for you. And yeah, I got a bunch of new Maybelline products, so I will be coming out with reviews and first impressions of those very soon and give this a thumbs up if you're excited for that. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!